Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today we're looking at the best tech, Swordfish. <laughs> Alright guys, so the Swordfish. This thing is probably one of my favorites of the best tech G10 knives, but uh, as you guys know, I'm a fan of the Wii 702. I like the uh, 0452, the 704 from Wii, and several other of those uh, longer, thinner blades that uh, are similar to, in some ways to this swordfish. So what do we get here? We get a closed length of 5.03 with a handle thickness of 0.58. Once again, I don't I don't want to believe the calipers. It doesn't feel like over half an inch, but, you know, they don't lie. It is. A closed height of a very skinny 1.18. <coughs> an overall open length of uh, 8.92. So it is a long one. And a blade length of 3.92. And an edge length of 3.86. With a blade stock thickness of 0.13 or 3.3 millimeters. And, uh... Just freaking beautiful. And our grip area, for you guys with massive hands, this thing has a grip area of 4.12. And uh, all the metric stuff will be in the pause and read card, guys, so uh, it's all there for you to get a good look at. Now, let's get a comparison going, and this should be somewhat interesting. We have this guy. We have our Buck 110 which is obviously a smaller knife, but weighs a whole bunch more, or somewhat more. And our Rat Model 1, again, a smaller knife and weighs more uh, because the weight on this guy is 4.84 ounces, or 137.2 grams. So it's not a lightweight by any means, but for a nearly 4-inch blade, it's doing pretty darn well. And we'll get our Delica out here just for fun. Here's our Delica, and it looks like, uh, you know, a teenager or a freaking tyke or something in there. It, uh, there you go. And let's get a look at this blade. Now, we've got a flat, somewhat sabery grind here. And we also have distal taper from about here forward. So it's a fairly thin tip and swedged up here and man this thing is messing with my lights and just overall a very very beautiful blade we've got d2 swordfish and the model number on this side best tech knives logo and best tech knives on this side very very nice as we look down to it we've got i'm gonna have to close that blade so that we can see things there we go We've got two pieces of G10, and I have not taken this knife apart, so uh, I don't know if that is fully two pieces of G10 or if we've got something adhering them together, but they seem to stay right where they're supposed to be, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, got the G10 here, two pieces, kind of a bolstery look there. We do have a larger backspacer than the other G10 knives, which provides us a tubed lanyard hole and the tip-up right-hand only pocket clip and our somewhat stylized free-spinning pivot. Now, as we've done with most of them, let's get a look at one of the screws. And there's our screw. Pretty tight in there. We'll grab another one just for fun. Fairly tight, so pretty good screws in these. And, uh, wow, that blade is just my thing. I wish we could get a better, get the camera to do a better job with it, but uh, it's rather shiny and the camera don't like it at all today. But uh, very nice blade and very nice flipper tab. We can see they've done a cutout in the flipper tab, no sharp edges left, and uh, looks very nice back here. Again, no sharp edges, no jimping on the flipper tab, and it doesn't need it in this case. And from here, we'll go to our pause and read card, and I'll be right back with you. All 
This is one I have not taken apart. This is straight from Best Deck with that nasty grease we found in the Kendo. And... Centered up perfectly. Just freaking beautiful running on those ceramic ball bearings. Ceramic detent. Stainless steel liner lock and... Uh, kind of hard to see in there, but, uh, cause this one is pretty thin. It's thinner than the other ones, I believe. But it is milled out in there on both sides so that, uh, see if we can get it. Ah, there you can see the edges in the milling. And, uh, see if you can see the edge on the other side. That's gonna be really tough. But, yeah, there it is. There's the edge on the other side. So milled out on both sides they've done everything they could to reduce weight in this besides going to titanium and they've done a pretty good job of 4.84 ounces and now let's do the ergonomics ergonomically well you guys tell me what i'm gonna say you can put it down there in the comments you already know yep simple handle design and what does simple handle design equal it equals good ergonomics doesn't matter what you do with the knife. Now, it is a long knife, so you got to be a little aware of that if you got really small hands or even medium-sized hands. But it's going to do what you need it to do because there's nothing getting in the way. So let's look at a little bit of the particulars. We have a cutout. Man, that blade is just really giving us fits with the camera. We've got a little bit of a cutout right here to give you access to lock bar we've got some small contouring right here to let your fingers roll around the knife and all in all the ergonomics package here is very good now is this a high grip high tactile grip knife that you know you you're gonna go and do all kinds of tactical stuff with no this is a large size EDC knife with a beautiful blade that plays hell with my cameras. And that's what you're getting, and at the price point, that is a beautiful thing, my God. Uh, $55, you're getting D2, you're getting well done G10, and well done, I mean, for $55, look how well they have put, the, put these together. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but my goodness, at the price point, it is great. Now let's throw it in the pocket before I get all sideways about this one. As you can tell, this is my favorite of these knives. And this is the one downfall. Get her over here in the center and we'll pop that in and my camera is still giving me fits. There we go. Uh, this pocket clip fits pretty darn well. However, it does not do a great job with thicker pants. Say your uh, Dickies, your Centos, your uh, Carhartt, Riggs, 511s. Uh, however, because it is a stainless clip, you can get out there with the vise and your vise grips and you can make adjustments. Now, I have made just a simple adjustment that uh, isn't exactly what I want, but... I'm going to go back out to the vise and the uh, vise grips, and I'm going to raise this a little bit, pull it back a little bit, and bend that back down against the handle, and I'm going to be in great shape. That is the one place that having a standard stainless pocket clip is uh, really nice compared to your titanium milled pocket clip. And final thoughts, boys and girls. I've already been saying it a lot, but this swordfish for your larger knife in a budget category or semi-budget category at around $50, $55, you're not going to do much better. This thing is freaking gorgeous. Uh, I like some of the other colors better than the one I've got here, but I like this knife so much I'm not going to fuss too much about color. It's kind of like the, uh, oh yeah, this one here, the Wii 704. It's got all the purple crap on it. Oh well, you know, I'm not a big fan of purple, but... I like the knife so much, I'm not going to fuss about it. In fact, I probably ought to go sandblast all that stuff off and make it what I want. But anyhow, this is my favorite of the uh, 
D2 and G10 knives that came over. In my opinion, it's the most neutral in ergonomics. It's got the best blade. And I understand this blade is too long for many of you to carry wherever you're at. Uh, but uh, the actions are just phenomenal for the price you're paying. And guys, that's the bottom line here with Best Tech. From what I can tell, they are giving you a beautiful knife at just an unbelievable price with, uh, and I, don't, I say unbelievable, it's not unbelievable, it's a price in line with the market uh, for G10 and D2. And then they're throwing in the ceramic detent and the ceramic ball bearings and uh, those other little niceties. And that is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And uh, this is a knife that I will carry and use. Sorry guys, you can't have it. Because I have all the best tech knives and the D2 and G10. This is definitely my favorite. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and uh, getting a look at this camera fighting knife and the best tech swordfish. It is a beauty. And, uh, Wow, I need to sharpen this thing up and get it back in my pocket. Straighten that clip up a little bit the way I want it. Ooh, I like it a lot, guys. And you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.